Hello YouTube, it's Cray here, and today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to create this wireframe effect for your backgrounds or your intros. I'll be covering how to make, uh, how to do the work in Photoshop for a background, and how to do the post work in After Effects, so you get the effect and the on different ways on how to use it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about about the wire effect, it's just a wireframe effect, and uh, I'll show you guys first in the background and it's this right here if you see it kinda looks like a blueprint type thing and uh... it's something really easy to do and it's not that complicated but uh... yeah i'll show you guys how it looks in the intro this is the intro i made for prosim central a long time ago and if you see it right there it has that wire right there and it looks pretty cool but um... yeah let's get started so uh, this is a project file right here for the ProSim Centro intro and um, I'll just be using this to cover it and uh, to show you guys how to uh, do this effect so as you can see right now actually let's just lower down the render settings so it doesn't take forever but as you can see it's just the basic uh, animation or logo or the whatever you want to call it and it has no wires as of now and there is many different ways on how to do this and I'll show you some of the ways I know on how to do it. So, um, yeah, and this is the way I did it for the intro and the background. So, once you have this, you just want to have your design. You could do it on anything. Anything that's inside the scene, it would uh, come out to be wired, depending if it has a lot of segments. For each segment you have, you would get a wire or a frame or a wire frame, whatever you want to call it. So, since I have a bunch of segments right here, I'll be having a lot of uh, frames. So, once you have your design you just want to go to your render settings go to effect cell render the edge color you want to change that to white the background color to black and make sure you have edges checked and then when you render that you have the wireframe effect and if you want this for and I'll show you guys right now on how to do uh, do this for backgrounds so once you have this you just want to go to your options your render settings and save this as a PNG save it as a PNG make sure alpha channel is checked and just make sure your settings are correct current frame let's render this out <clears throat> I'll render this out let's just set up a place where we can work with 1280 by 720 alright so this is done save let's just save this to my desktop just name it 11 or something and then you're going to want to render it out without the cell render make sure it's the same frame you didn't move anything the camera's not moved around or you didn't move the logo you want to uh, render these out as a picture on the same still alright so let's import this now open uh, let's see here. Where is this at? Alright, right here. So if you render it as an alpha channel, if as a PNG with the alpha channel checked, you will see that you don't have, you don't need to worry about cutting it out. And if you didn't know this, that's how you should render out text if you're making it for backgrounds or something. But uh, yeah, so let's just change the background color to black or a dark gray would work fine alright let's make sure this is done alright that's done so you just save it click OK and we'll name this 12 or whatever go back to Photoshop and open this up and get the 12 you want to put it in the same make sure they're right over each other and once you have that you could either just put this overlay put this overlay screen whatever and then just mess with the opacity and then there you go you have it for your backgrounds or whatever but what I did I just had it normal and I just lowered the opacity and then I just got my eraser put the airbrush eraser and then lower the opacity right here and just erase some parts because you don't want it to look completely I don't know it's just a cool effect I guess so yeah I just erased some of the parts just to have it look different 
and that's how you do that so you can do this for text whatever just make sure you render both both of them as the same like if you render this part cell you render it as a cell and then you move the camera and you render this normally it's not going to look good because it's not going to be the same angle and it won't come out the same so now for intros if you want to work on this using an intro the same would have to go you would have to render this two times so you would have to render the first time without the cell render and then after that's done you're gonna have to render it using cell render and I already have some done so just for time sake so yeah let's get started on that so open up after effects go to file import file 